another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip, my name is Jesse. Now last week we took a look at this adjustable cam gear and how we would build this in SOLIDWORKS as a flexible assembly using the profile center mate as well as the slot mate. This week we're going to take a look at what I think is the quickest way to generate a simple animation showing this assembly's motion. If you haven't seen last week's video, you can click here and check that out first. If you have, let's take a look. Now what if we wanted to illustrate to someone how this particular part moves. SOLIDWORKS animation is a phrase that's bound to strike fear in the hearts of engineers, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let's say we want to animate a very simple animation of this gear adjusting from 0 to 10 degrees. Well, the only thing we need to do is place in a mate that will allow us to drive this, and I'll use a new tool in 2016 to accomplish the animation itself. First things first, let's place in a mate. I'll move to my outer gear and we'll apply a mate between the right plane and the right plane of the top level assembly. For now, I'll just set this to zero. In order to generate this quick animation, I'll use a new tool called the Mate Controller. Now the Mate Controller can be found under Insert, Mate Controller. I've customized it to my toolbar because it's something that I use frequently. Once I launch the mate controller, all we have to do is select the mate that we would like to drive. In this case, our angle mate. From here, we'll create some positions. We'll start off with the position zero, which is in its current position. Next, I'll create a new position called five, and we'll change the value of this mate to five degrees. Now update that position, and we'll create another. This one we'll call 10. Again, I'll change the angle value to 10, and update the position. Now as far as the animation goes, I actually could have gone right to 10 degrees. However, I like to have this extra view in here, so now I can manually select this. And you can see now that I have these views, I can choose any orientation and it will snap to that orientation now because these are in order down here all I have to do is hit calculate and with just a few clicks I've generated an animation now we can save that out from here and send that out to whoever needs to see it once we accept the make controller you'll see that the make controller is now added to your tree and we can select and choose from an orientation just like we would with a configuration. If we need to edit, add, or change what we're controlling, of course we can come back, edit feature, and make any changes we need. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful, and I hope to see you back next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.